everybody, we're playing Warframe and today we're going to go back to the Zeremon and we're going to get the Inodem Incarnon weapon. This is a melee dagger. Okay, so we want to fast travel to Cavalera. I watch on the scope sometimes, you know. Some of those moves, I thought only a Dax could pull them off. Browse the wares. Take your time. So the inner dem weapon is here on the left. So it costs five thousand five hundred old fast standing to buy this one. I can wait. If you die. I got dibs on your stuff. So I'm gonna fast travel to Archimedean Yonta. I figured it out. How the Zaraman could jump all the way to Tau in one big bold leap, disabling the safeties in sequence. If I had it to do again, we could make it. Yeah, sure you could. <laughs> Alright, let's grab a couple of these. I've got 104 of these, so plenty to sell. Let's travel Why back to Cavalera. Tired of humans. Okay, tool up. So you can see this one needs Entrati Lanthorns, 15 of those to build. It looks pretty cool. So with this weapon you have to use the uh, heavy attack Works to me. transmute it. So now I'm going to go and grab myself some Entrati Lanthorns. So you can get that from the bounty vendor over here. Speak to Quinn. Check out the bounties. So this third bounty here has an Entrati Lanthorn times three. Uncommon reward. Halico Perimeter. This is a good one to do. You can also pick up the Entrati Lanthorns by breaking up all the containers around this area too. Welcome to my local Greedy, plundering corpus bastards have come aboard without permission. Mow them down without a second thought. Still using the Fenmore from previous episodes, but it's okay. and boots full of blood all over the deck. <laughs> Corpus are broken. I'm kind of impressed. Alright, just one and try the land on that time. Might go back and try again. Steady. There's Might do that third mission me. again. Still ready to do what needs doing. Even after doing so much to remind them who the Zeraman belongs to. Welcome 
Marked an intra D lands on. We can over there and grab it. There it is. Okay, and head into the finish line. You see that time we got two Entrality Lanthorns. So I'll keep repeating that until they get the 15 that I need. Okay, now we can go and build it. So if you need Void Plume Pinions, you can get them from Void Angels at Halico Perimeter. If you need the Void Plume Quills, you can get them from Void Armageddon. I've got plenty of those, so I didn't show that part. Everything in orders, operator? So it takes 24 hours to build. And that's the end of the episode, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.